All right, now welcome back to Algebra 1. Here we're going to continue learning how to solve these single step equations using addition and subtraction. We're just going to crank through some additional problems to show you how to, how to build those skills. So for instance, if you had a problem that looked like a plus uh, 9 uh, is equal to 1, and you wanted to solve this equation for the variable a, how would you do it? Well, first of all, you look and see uh, that a has a 9 added to it. So the goal here is to try to get A by himself. You want him to be by itself. So since this is plus 9, you need to do the opposite, which is subtracting 9. But when you do that, you have to do it to both sides of the equal sign in order for it to be valid. So it'll be A plus 9 uh, equals 1. That's the equation you started with. And what you're going to do is subtract 9 from the left, but also subtract 9 from the right. And what that is going to do is 9 minus 9 is going to give you 0 on the left, so really all you're going to have is a on the left equals, and on the right hand side you'll have 1 minus 9. Now you have to think back to, to remembering how to do that. You have uh, 1 minus 9, so you have subtraction, so the way you do it is 9 minus 1 is 8, but the sign of it is going to go with the larger absolute value. So you have a negative 9 here and a positive 1, so it's negative, because that's the larger absolute value. If you don't remember how to add or subtract negative and positive numbers, you need to go and review that. We spent quite a bit of time on that skill earlier. So you see what we did is the same operation to both sides, subtracting 9, and that killed the 9's here, which isolated A, and the answer is negative 8. Now, just to check your work, if you stick negative 8 in here, making A is equal to negative 8 plus 9, if you add those two together, I think you can convince yourself you're going to get positive 1, which means you found the right answer. So now we're going to work on our next problem. We're just going to continue working through these guys and give you some practice. Here you have negative 5 plus the variable m 